So hi. Uh, ang topic natin for today is tombstone pillow na movie. So many of my friends would ask, ano pa tong tombstone pillow na laging sinusulat ni Kali? So here it is yung trailer niya. Tombstone pillow is a short film that was shot in the Manila North Cemetery. Uh, it's an actual location, totoong location siya, uh, na sa Manila North Cemetery, kung ano, marami tao na hindi nakakaalam, uh, maraming, oh, almost 6,000 families ang nakatira doon. Nakatira sila sa, at doon sila natutulog sa nicho mismo ng mga patay. Dahil wala silang bahay. At, um, itong, itong mga nakikita nyo dito, dito sila natutulog kasi masyadong mahirap at uh, wala mga trabaho. Uh, it remains one of the most problematic areas in the Philippines. So, hindi siya masyado nahahighlight sa mga dokumentary sa Pilipinas. Parang hindi ko pa nga narinig to na feature ng GMA. Or kung na-feature man niya siguro, hindi pa masyado nabigyan ng attention. So, Ito naman Tungstong Pilo is not a political film. It's not a political film. It's more of um, it's a fiction story about uh, tungkol sa isang mayaman na babae na ang pangalan niya Olivia na plinay ni uh, Lord Estuque Baron. So, um, itong short film na ito it's actually a social awareness film. So, the good thing about it is um, it is trying to raise awareness regarding the specific problem that is happening in the Manila North Cemetery. Cemetery. So, because he, Lord Estuquebaran, who is executive producer and Dream Team directors and Fraser Scott are all humanitarian. So, what uh, the happy thing after itong 2020 and 2021, uh, Tumson Pillow has received so many raving reviews all over the world. So, California filmmakers and critics are raving with reviews and appreciation for the short film Tumson Pillow. Meaning to say, uh, for a short film, um, ang dami niya na panalunan. This uh, Tumson Pillow film went on to win several awards and nominations globally. So, Tumson Pillow won in Los Angeles, it also won in Amsterdam, in England, in Italy, Czech Republic, tama ba Czech Republic, and Toronto, Canada, nanalo din siya, and Turkey, Belgium, and many, and even in Tuscany. So, it is what they would call as a very decorated film, short film. Ang um, isa sa mga cinematographers, na who joined the project is Miko David. And Miko David um, is also known for his work in Birdshot, an Oscar contender na Philippines, Neo Manila, if you have a... Saka, he's also responsible for other projects like if yung very famous na film na Iri, director of photography siya dun. So one of the main reasons then, of course, is the Filipino talents that got represented in this film. Kaya the aesthetic appeal of Tombstone Pillow was really high. And as a result, uh, one of the major awards that it was able to receive was um, naging finalist din siya ng Queen Palm International Film Festival, one of the biggest film festivals in Palm Springs, California. Uh, actually, maraming marami siyang awards na nakuha, hindi lang yon. So, let me... Maraming awards na nakuha ang Tungsong Pillow. So, ito yung, ito yung mga photos during the project nung ginagawa siya. And I was also there with the shoot. It was a really memorable one. So, meron si Ian Taylor, Lake Salcedo, Akram, Lamandi, and Cedric Escobar. Akram came all the way from Tunisia pa just to shoot this film. And he was joined by very professional uh, team talaga in the Philippines. So, 
kita mo naman um, yung cinematic shots talaga here. Stone Pillow is a short film shot in a cemetery in Manila where 6,000 people live. A wealthy widow of a corrupt politician meets a poor graveyard girl who shows her real-life riches. Ang Tungstone Pillow is already available in Amazon Prime US. Okay, available na siya. So, and mapapanood na rin siya sa Amazon Prime UK. Or you can rent it for $1.99. You can also buy it. So, it's one of the films that I'm really heavily promoting because I personally took uh, part in during the three-day shoot. So, I was able to witness everything that has happened in the film. And I've met a lot of wonderful people. Also, the musical scoring of Tombstone Pillow was created by none other than American Israeli musician, Record producer and engineer Hagai Misrahi. Hagai Misrahi, if I know, has already worked with the likes of Justin Bieber and Christina Milian, Christina Aguilera. So, if you're familiar with uh, a purpose song of Justin Bieber, he was one of the music producers who worked with the album. So, the soundtrack, uh, the musical scoring of the film Tombstone Pillow was created by uh, Hagay Misrahi. So, a very talented, the people who have worked here and the lead actress, can you believe it, is already 73 years old. So, Baron, already 73 years old. And this is only possible because of stem cells. So, napaka 72 years old yan, ha? Yung, uh, So, that's why and in the coming days, I'll be talking more about it. Uh, so, I just, uh, it, it, this is are the, these are the many awards that the film was able to gather. And although, um, we also had a screening here in Manila. But of course, uh, there's a struggle kasi in the Philippines for uh, recognition of many, many independent films. Hindi siya masyado ano sa sariling country niya. But in many major festivals, the film was able to garner so many awards, which is, ang important lang naman din talaga, was the ability to impart the message of the film. Kasi gusto lang natin na uh, i-made aware yung mga tao about the plight of the people in the Manila North Cemetery. And in the hopes na more people will get curious about it. So, I'll vlog more about this. Uh, maraming salamat and God bless. Sa, salamat sa pakikinig uh, about Tumsong Pilot. So, I hope to speak more about it. Maraming salamat ulit.